You have always waited for me And you always will be there Sagebrush and pine Old friends of mine A little bit further I will find my rest In the shadow of the valley That I love best Hey there folks, welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Mysterious JG. Last time we watched some circus freaks and French dancing girls who may or may not have actually been French and more circus freaks. There were quite a few circus freaks in that one. That was probably our most circus freaky uh, routine yet. But before we go, I think we're going to get a chance to see some of the performers. Supposed to talk to the ticket taker. <laughs> Quite something. Yeah, I gotta go deal with this. Oh, there's something here for you. Oh, oh. good luck. These novelty acts. Don't get this for dancing girls. So we got letter from Miss Marjorie and forty dollars. Oh, we don't actually get to see them again. I was kind of hoping we get to see them again. What a lovely surprise. It was so sweet of you to come and see the show. Bless. I hope it's a good one for you. Audience can be terrible here. The boys, well, they are simply thrilled to know you're in in their own special ways. Here is the cut of the proceeds you were promised. There's no secret uh, message on it. So there you go. I guess we got 40 bucks for that. Which is not a huge deal at this point in the game, but... Is it raining out? Yeah, it's raining out. Okay. In the real world, it's been raining on and off all day, too. This is very atmospheric. Uh, nevertheless, um... Oh, well, now the... Hamish Sinclair, the veteran, um... I was talking about him in the last video. Well, his uh, his quests are back on. So there's a whole section of the world. Not much. I imagine, imagine the, the top border of the world here is what it is. We kind of haven't explored this end of the world yet. The story never really makes us... Well, no, the story makes us go to Strawberry just to get Micah. Uh, and those were plot essential missions. Otherwise, there's not a whole lot that we've done out here. But I have a feeling like the world kind of ends right here. So I don't think there's big chunks of map that we haven't explored yet that are preventing us from having access to side quests. Uh, well, the weather's pretty rough to be out riding on a horse. Let's, uh... I don't know how much you would want to be pushing your horse in this kind of weather when it could lose its footing, but we're we're just going to try to... No, not the share. You ain't going to walk out of this town alive. Come on, please. I didn't take much. You bastard. Whoa. What happened? Looks like he's worse for wear. Okay, off you go then. Um, maybe I was supposed to catch the guy before the lawman did, and something would have happened. But hey, boy. I don't know how to feel about that. Hey there. It was a minority suspect being manhandled by a policeman at the same time. Um. They kind of, uh, he kind of said, hey, what's the matter? I didn't steal much, as though he had been caught red-handed committing a crime. I guess we don't know. Hi there, ma'am. Hi there, ma'am. I just about ran you over. This is reminding me of the time I committed accidental animal cruelty because a dog wandered into the path of my horse when I wasn't even riding it. So 
Yeah, we had a little brief scene of police brutality. Not quite enough for us to really know if that's what was supposed to be being presented. And I didn't take an act that actually gave us a clear indication on the morality meter. I think it's nice that we made a little friend, um, a little friend, very condescending. Uh, we made a friend who have sort of a one-legged veteran fellow who lives off by himself in the woods. I don't really know a lot about his backstory other than the fact that he's kind of has a tough time of it and he enjoys having a real manly friend around for things like fishing trips and just being manly. No indication, for example, that we're going to have like a salon-style book discussion. And now he wants to uh, go hunting with us, so... That'll be a, a fun little mini game for us to do. And hopefully the game will equip us with what we need to actually successfully complete the mission. And hopefully we won't get killed by wildcats on our way. There's an entire gang we haven't encountered yet. I wonder if they're like a post-story game, a post -story only gang. The, um... Those red hat guys uh, from the second game have not been around, but they were active in the. So the world map of Red Dead Redemption, the original game, is kind of here, and you can see the game scrolls out that far. I don't know why I'm being coy. This this will become available as part of your late, you know, your post game sandbox area that you get to explore once the main story is resolved. But uh, Blackwater was the northeastern kind of corner of that world. Matter of fact, the final missions against Dutch take place right around here in that game. Uh, and uh, John Marston's farmstead is kind of out here somewhere. But uh, this, so this entire game basically takes place northeast of the northeasternmost point in uh, the original Red Dead Redemption. And why am I mentioning this now? Um, I don't know. I kind of forget now why I went down that road. Oh, because I was thinking about which uh, gang we haven't encountered yet. So there was a gang kind of active down there, but at this point, if we go down there, we get like an instant super wanted level and just have infinitely spawning law enforcement trying to kill us. And Mexico land is not in the game at all. Somebody's got a nice... Out of the way. I was trying to greet him. I was trying to go, hey there, mister. Just curious if he has a fire up here. Hey there, mister. Hey there, friend. Want to take the weight off? Fire is good and hot. Well, let's see what this is about. After all, I came out here because there was a fire. Hey, friend. Probably gonna try to rob me, but. That's nice. So you got a girl, Mister? Huh? What's it to you? Me neither. Got my eye on one though. Okay. I was hunting north of Vannesburg when I came across this cabin. Oh, this is getting There's weird no already. There, but this woman, bit bony but beautiful as the day is long. Oh no! Real elegant, fancy. Is this, type the, too. this the person we've been helping? I see how you like him too, friend. Um. Don't know what she's doing out there in the middle of nowhere, but turns out she's a widow. She asked me to leave, but in a real nice way, M made me feel good. Uh, about her raping her. For a while, saw her cry. Hmm. I won't tell you then, if that's how you want to be. If ladies ain't your thing. You know, I can't... Have we met before someplace? Uh, are we really... Is this really how this resolves? I don't think so. I just responded positively. You can count me the hell out of this. What? 
You were the one who was making some weird plan to go ambush this woman. What the hell was that? I don't know how I was supposed to respond to this. I really don't know if, like, I was supposed to respond positively to, um... Oh, well. Take his moonshine, anyway. Do you all tonics to fortify your bars? Fort of Argon will be used for a short period without draining. Yeah, he's got pictures of naked women. Which is, look, I mean, that's kind of normal for a guy who's on his own, I suppose, but, um, watching some woman from the bushes and watching her cry and talking about her randos, that was weird. I'm not sure where that was supposed to. Like, there's so many random encounters in the game where it's like, if you don't instantly input a very specific command right away, it just times out. You don't do anything, but I feel like I was supposed to respond positively to him throughout, and then we would have gone and, like, you know, we'd had positive interactions with some lady who he's been helping out, um, who I believe were done with her sideline of quests. Yep. And I think that's who he was talking about. Maybe it was somebody else. But, uh, yeah, that was weird. I guess that's what I get for diverting to go ride towards a random campfire. The game made it plenty visible, though. Perhaps later on we f go back to visit her or we have a side quest where that guy is there and uh, he's done something terrible to her and maybe that's how her quest line resolves. That would be depressing. I'm kind of hoping that's not where the story's going. So another whole video of writing to... Um, Another side quest, which will not take as long as the trip to it did. That was an interesting little side phase jump there. All Dragon's interest almost perked up there for a second. Double chances to run over animals, although I've already gotten my uh, horse riding bonuses for that. All these really fancy looking... Or pretty looking flowers, which are apparently not um, pickable. I wonder what Herr Strauss is up to now that we kicked him out. Is he shaking people down on his own without the help of thugs? Or do we find some exciting new thugs? Well, we ran over something. I can't be bothered to go pick it up, though. Be a great country to get killed by a mountain lion in. Yeah, this fella really does kind of live up in an isolated zone. And, uh, rain. Drops keep falling on my head. Apparently, the fact that I had uh, taken some stuff to restore the Dead Eye Core wasn't making actual new Dead Eye uh, generate. It seemed like, or I needed to sleep for that to happen, or something. Howdy. Hello, mister. Move! Move, mister. You know, I've never been one for hunting, but, um... I mean, it would give you a, 
a good reason to go see some beautiful country that otherwise you would just kind of wander around in without any particular purpose if you wanted to see beautiful country. Well, I haven't manually saved in a while. I, I'm under the impression that none of these side quests are going to be particularly failable, but who knows. We may find ourselves screwing up opportunities to set up a gang rape storyline. Huzzah! I mean, that's where that was going, wasn't it? Oh, I'm cold. Because it's raining. And we're up in the north. Um... Did me saving the game just, uh... Just get us into a time where, uh... Alright, fine. I'll camp right outside your house and wait for you to wake up. Literally. It's a good way to, um... Let's sleep for 12 hours outside of this guy's house. <laughs> Why not? Apparently we just miss it. I don't know if like saving the game ad advances the time a little bit or what, but um I feel like we should be able to get out of here now and um hopefully tear down the camp and be able to get uh something going cuz this we're now 17 minutes into this video and I was just coming up here to do a mission that is... Oh, we, well, we warped outside of his... Uh, we warped just far enough outside of his property to avoid being uh, criminally liable, I suppose. Yep. Boy. Watch out there, horse. There's a legendary fish in that water. Handy that that jump was possible. Yeah. This guy's got antelope running all over his house. Alright, let's try this again. Hey, I heard there's a widow out there if you want to go. Oh. You sleep outside of my house all night. Arthur. Come in. You said uh, I'm in McTavish. We could go for a hunt. I did. There's this huge she wolf been stalking me the last few nights I've been out, but she can wait. Why don't we Let's hunt talk her? A while. Sure. No. So what do you do? Me? No. I'm a wanderer. You know, I'm a wanderer. I wander around and around. Funny. I never saw myself as a wanderer, man. But, uh, well, enough of that conversation. That might have revealed something of my character. Body's lays so thick. You could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. I guess they, um, they didn't want to write a bunch of realistic Western dialogue, but they want to very quickly build up the importance of this personal relationship to, uh, Arthur, and um, I can't say I don't uh, envy them the difficulty of quickly establishing the importance of this guy to Arthur, but um, that did seem awfully lazy. Those were bad times. Hmm. Yes, they were. Well, but anyway, I guess that's what like I got coffee? for joining the French Foreign Legion. Please. You must have just seen a hee-haw sketch. Right across there. That close. Oh, 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 oh. She's acting brazen. Come on. Let's mount up. Let's go take her sorry ass out. Come on. She went around on the left. Around the lake. 
down here somewhere. Come on, she'll move quick. Let's go try to outrun her. Yep. Wolf shouldn't come so close to people. Yeah, That's strange. what Fire Wolf Nick Napalm taught me. Between wolf lie. slams. Now they're stuck hiding in the few corners of wilderness we got left. No oh, conservation with answers. which I can sympathize. This ain't a country for wild animals, nor wild men neither. It's also no country for old men. Yep. Quickly now. This way. Up there. On the outcrop. You see her? Let's go around it. Okay, I'm with you. I guess. Okay. We're not really going for like a stealth approach here, are we? Damn. I can't see her. Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. You loves hills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. What we got here? Is that a fresh kill? Good boy. If not, I'll kill it now. Set. Let me take a look. dinner next meal will be us now where'd she get to well are you gonna focus on the track or me cuz my guess she's gone somewhere over there well, there's a whole lot of over there that's the problem. And you could be wrong, too. There she is. Got shy all of a sudden. You got some extra miles in you tonight? Oh, if we gotta chase her, let's chase her. All right. Come on. Oh, well, never mind. Hey, I, I thought we were gonna... Idiot. Thought we were gonna do this on foot. My bad. Oh, I got. What? Okay, I dismounted automatically. We got a tracker. Now you want to lead, or shall I? If you don't mind, I'd like to. Okay, get tracking. Close behind you. I got the trail. This one. It's glowing. Some kind of legendary wolf, or we heading down here? Yep, that's what the legendary tracks say. We don't get her. Well, what's the worst that can happen? She runs off with the chicken. Well, I'm fine with losing chickens. I lost a leg already, and I gotta pull down my pants to shit in these woods. So, hey, a bear is that the she wolf? Nah, I see it's wolf dong. Boys, we walked into something here. It's some kind of wolf den. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. Well, this is Wolfenstein, the new order, so they would have totally tortured us, man. I'd call it. 
Oh, I'm supposed to be slamming the button. You all right? Wow, I really thought I'd set you up to die. Big son of a bitch. Is that all of them? That's the best of them. Look at them. The rest of them are just jobbers. Wow, thing. Scary thing. <laughs> they brought us here to be slaughtered. You <laughs> Sorry, I've... I've um, I uh, had the first one uh, for for a long time on DVD uh, because of my Amazon wish list being made up in large part of movies that there are riff tracks for, um, and I finally got around to actually <laughs> I spent good money on them, but uh, I finally went ahead and actually bought the Twilight series of movies so that I could watch them with the riff tracks, and I'd never seen. Not like I'm bragging about this. It's just like, I'm so much better than you, but because I've never read Twilight. I'd never seen the movies. I watched them with the rift tracks, and I just, earlier today, actually watched the last of them, and one of my favorite lines in the whole thing was like, oh no, the tragic death of one of the wolves who isn't Jacob. <laughs> because there's a bunch of characters you're kind of supposed to know who they are, and you don't. <laughs> and one of the wolves who isn't Jacob dies, and the music and the character reaction shots treat it like a big deal, and it's like, we don't know anything about the wolves who weren't Jacob. We're after a hunt. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. Still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. Up in a little like sailor suit. Another like him for some time. Yeah, what about the she wolf? <laughs> Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. Oh, well, you, you almost got taken out. Yeah. You come by and see me. So long now. Yeah. Wait. Well, why don't I help. stay here? Thank you. Uh, you earned it. Yeah, I did. I did all the work. Well, it's a good wolf pelt. Tamish's friend attempt to track a wolf only to encounter more than they bargained for. He could speak the stories he tell. About the servant of the wishing well. So I feel like I should, um... Because this is a way to get big game meat. Like, I'm, I guess I'm supposed to let him dress most of this. Uh, Dire Wolf? But I think the act of skinning it also puts the meat in your inventory. Yeah. It's a poor wolf belt. Almost a shame we killed it. Almost. Well, get more big game meat if I need it. So there's bears around here and veterans homestead. Probably I could just kind of head close by and wow, they want me to take a real convoluted path to get there. I'm guessing it's probably no safe way down this. Oh, this is not a good idea. Try to take it down the mountain path here. They got a real convoluted way they want me to go. Uh, I'm just kind of hoping I can find some kind of way to scoot her down the side of the mountain here. Kind of figured it out a bit. Sorry, buddy. Could have been worse. Yeah, I don't know about this. This 
Just pick your way real slow and see what happens. This is what happens. That was mercifully not fatal to anyone. Not anywhere near as bad as it might have been. Alright, so now we're in the shadow of the valley. That I love best. My horse is making real panic noises. But I think we're okay. Let's save our game and call it a video. And when we come back next time, um, I'll actually finish singing in the shadow of the valley. It'll be nice. And we'll have a new... Um, a new video title. Everything's coming up, Riffia. I'm Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you'll join me next time as uh, we try to uh, use the magic of staying at um, camping right outside of a guy's house to finish the veteran side quest. See you next time.